Hi guys, welcome to Quant Build Academy. My name is Zangi Moemi, and in this video tutorial, I will be taking you through, through the process of enabling dimension markers on a floor plan that is for doors and windows. We'll be using ArchiCAD software. And before we get started, I will request you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me to grow this channel and to know that I'm making videos that people like. And for those who have subscribed, thank you very much and welcome back. Let's get started. So here, on uh, my screen, I have a very simple uh, floor plan that is open. And as you can see, we have the walls in place. We have uh, some windows and we have some doors and we have some dimensions that are already in place like as you can see here I have dimensions for the thickness of the wall and I have some uh, dimensions for the length of the wall so uh, for us to be able to represent well uh, the information for the let's say an example for this window we have this, I hope you can see this, we have this, which is what I'm calling the dimension marker for the window, which is showing the window ID as ID001 with the exact size of the opening and the seal, uh, floor to seal height. Here, these are the dimensions. And so what we want to do is to be able to represent this information on a floor plan using ArchiCAD. So I hope you have uh, your ArchiCAD ready. If you need these uh, uh, plans, both the PDF and the ArchiCAD file that I am using, I will uh, be sharing them on my Patreon page. So I will leave a link in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and uh, download them. And so let's get to ArchiCAD and see what we can do. So already here, I have a, a floor plan in place. And as you can see, we have the walls, doors, windows. We have our dimensions. And for the openings, we have not enabled uh, the dimension markers. Although on plan, you are able to see we have this dimension which is uh, the width of the opening and and for this matter it's the, the 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 door opening so we don't know the height of this window unless we go to the 3d or to the elevations and when we go to the elevations we will also need to use the dimensioning tool to check the exact height of that of that door rather we can also be able to use the measure tool which I'll grab from there and I'll be able to see this is a this is the measure tool up here you click on it and then you click to start measure, measuring from this point up to this point as, I, as now you can see we have the distance is 2 1100 millimeters so if I go back to the floor plan if you select this door and uh, open the settings dialog which is this one up here under the is, is under the info box you will see some door selection settings and for this door selection settings, to the left side, we have a, a browser that leads us to the ArchiCAD libraries that we have. And to the right, we have some settings. The first one is the preview and positioning. And this allows us to set the size of the, win of the door. <coughs> the seal to story the reveal to wall face dimensions 
and you can also be able to see a preview of the wall of, 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 of the opening as displayed in uh, various forms you can see in plan the front elevation the 3d the preview image and some uh, other information uh, building model beam information about that component so let's close this and go down here where we have each door settings these are settings for the type of the door lift that we want to have the type of uh, ion mogari the handle how the how the frame looks like how the door opens and when you go down here under floor plan and section we can see all these things all these settings that are related to the pen tools that we want to show on the plan and uh, the 3d so immediately we have uh, a drop down known as the dimension marker and this is the one we are supposed to use to enable dimension markers or to show dimensions for the window and the door for this matter on a floor plan so right now if you, if you click on this you will see that it's written no mark so this is what we have selected if i click on this arrow i'll be able to get a list of all the options that are available here i have an option of putting no marker which is already in place i can be able to set a basic window or a door skylight marker be able to set a door marker number 23 or a door stamp 23 or also i can be able to load other marker files as are stored on my computer so what i want us to do for this i want us to select the two doors click on the door settings dialog and then under dimension marker let's try basic window door skylight marker and this one gives us the size of the window which is width by height let's click on ok and you will see that on the plan where we have the door we have the door id which is hot linked and this also gives us the dimensions 900 by 2100 and the other one also as you can see on the screen so let's say this is not what we want we want to go ahead and make more customizations so with the door selected i'll go back to the settings dialog i'll be able to see some other settings and a dimension marker if i click on this let's say i choose door stamp 23 and door stamp 23 we will have door stamp settings opening up and it will ask us for all these settings wall hole dimensions what to show in a scale of up to 1 to 50 unit dimensions all these seal height and the rest so if i click on ok you will see this one also changes so we now have this box displaying uh, this specific information for this door and this other one so it's that simple so the one that i want to put for my plan which looks better graphically is this one i go back to mark dimension marker i'll be able to click on this and choose d marker 23 and when this is set let's open the marker text style below that and i want to change the font to i want to use a montserrat it's a premium font it has to be installed on your computer if i have that and i'll set the size to 1.5 then down below that we have marker simple and text and as you can see the marker end is a 
using this shape of a circle and if you click on this arrow you'll be able to see all these other options we have a circle we have an ellipse oval rectangle diamond square square ro rotated triangle triangle rotated pentagon and all these other options that you can choose based on the preferences that you will consider so for now let's click on ok and see what happens on the floor plan so if i click on the outside you can see we have this circle showing the id for that door which is d001 and the size is 900 by 2.1 so the first one shows the first one shows this one shows the width and the next shows the height so it's the same with the other one so let's say i wanted to change or to customize the shape uh, from appearing as a circle so i'll go below i'll come here i'll select let's say i want to use not a diamond i want to use a, rot a square rotated click on that think the text is not fitting can go back again and uh, let's say under the mark mark text style i put this as 1.3 then i can come here and choose fit shape to text and then click on ok so once i do that now you see the text fits in the rotated square very well and one more thing is you can be able to customize this distance from where we have this tip to where this shape appears so if i go to the settings if you look at this we have the marker position is given in millimeters we you've put that as 20 millimeters and the offset as 00, zero dimension position this is the customized eh? size extension line is six millimeters so if you change anything you can be able to see the the changes appear on the plan so that's that's it that's how to put dimensions on the floor plan for the windows for or uh, for the doors for the windows it's pretty the same formula so what we do is select the windows go to the settings dialog for the windows and then below the preview we have dimension mark here so I'll go ahead and select mark type i will use this w mark 23 i'll go back to the text style and change this to montserrat you can see montserrat m i use this change this to 1.30 and then below here we have marker simple and text i want to use this square rotated i want the fit shape to text I want this to be 21 and click on ok and go back we have an option of flip marker which is selected i want to unselect this then click on ok and you can see the directions the direction for this is uh, changing so let's say if you look at uh, your dimensions you are not able to see very well because this is interfering with your dimensions dimensions for the openings in the wall so you can be able to just grab this use uh, your mouse right click go to move select drag and you can drag this in position and place it to somewhere like that one 
and then go back to this also select them use your mouse to drag to position And if you look at our plan now, we have all the information in place. You can be able to tell the exact sizes for the door. You can be able to tell the exact sizes for the windows and all the stuff that we have. And for the windows, if you noticed, we have... Let's just flip this. Click on OK. If you've noticed, we have something written here, seal 650. So this one is the dimension from the floor plan to where the seal, the window seal starts. So it's a very, it's a very helpful tool. It's a very helpful uh, way of displaying information on the floor plan to make it more detailed for your builder to be able to understand the things that you want them to construct. So I hope you have uh, learned something. I hope this video is of help to you. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you for watching. And before we get to the end, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. There's a red button below this video. Click on it and turn on the notifications button. I will appreciate very much because you'll be supporting my work and supporting the growth of this channel. As I said, I'll be sharing this uh, Archicad file on my Patreon page and if you have not checked the page, I'm leaving a link in the description. Go ahead and check it. You can be able to download the, 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 the Archicad file plus the PDF from my Patreon page. Thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.